Today is September 15th, 2016, and I am Bro Steph. Welcome to the podcast, Prophecy Insights. And today, I just wanted to provide a really short summary on what's going on in Israel right now between Israel and Syria, the attacks cross-border that have been happening. Today, uh, some of my sources uh, contacted me and sent me information that the cross-border attacks from Damascus into the Golan Heights are on the uprise. And Israel has, of course, responded. Uh, As of uh, today, uh, they've responded and upped the level of their response um, to get the message to Syria to not attack the Golan Heights. Now, of course, Syria is saying that it's all accidental, it's stray missiles. Whatever the case, Israel has made the announcement through its defense minister that it will not allow ongoing attacks into Israel. And so, as you can imagine, people in Israel, especially northern Israel, are uh, getting very nervous and are really tense over the exchanges that have happened back and forth over a few days. And just the other day, two or three days ago, we had a missile land by the Sea of Galilee Uh, And, of course, in a field, uh, nobody was hurt. Uh, But the Israeli citizenry in northern Israel, as you can imagine, are very, very upset over this. And so things are beginning to escalate. Now, how far it's going to go, no one knows right now. An article I'm going to post to this report, if you hear clicking, I'm going to the article right now on my iPhone. Uh, There was an analysis done in the Times of Israel. Um, Hundreds will die. Missiles will rain everywhere in all-out war, IDF predicts. Ahead of nationwide exercise, Home Front Command says 230,000 rockets are aimed at Israel, though only a few will cause carnage should a conflict break out. Now, I have news for the writer of this report, Mr. Gross, and I have news for the IDF. If you, this is uh, to Israel, to Syria, if Hezbollah, Hamas, and Iran, and Russia all attack Israel. The God of Israel is going to rise up and defend Israel. And there will not be a carnage in Israel. And that's what our Bibles teach us. That's what the Word of God says. The carnage doesn't come now. The Ezekiel 38 war clearly shows the God of Israel defending his people and his land. We're going to see God from heaven rain fire down on these people. And if you don't think that God can redirect a missile or shoot it out of the sky with fire or just by snapping his finger, uh, then you have another thing coming. These bombs are not going to severely injure Israel. That's the good news. That's what prophecy tells us. Israel will not be damaged and hurt until Zechariah 13, 14 take place. And that will be toward the end of the Great Tribulation. But before that, God's going to protect his land and his people. And we're going to see God turned his attention to Israel and the Jews, just like he did in the Old Testament. And he will defend them. And he will help them. And it will be done at such a level 
supernatural level, it's going to catch everybody off guard and surprise everybody. So this is what is coming. We're about ready to see the God of the universe come out of heaven in a matter of speaking and defend his people and his land. So remember to keep looking up because Jesus is coming back soon. And um, we have nothing to fear and we have no reason in the world to be worried. Our God is on our side. So stand up strong, lift your heads up, raise your hands in the air and praise the Lord and say with me, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord Jesus. This is Bro Steph. Remember to live out your faith. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming back soon. And I'll see you on another Prophecy Insights with Bro Steph. Last footnote, if you have not asked Jesus Christ into your life, then please do it today because that window to be able to ask Christ into your life and start a personal relationship with him, that window is starting to close. And as we get closer to his return, it's going to become increasingly more difficult to make that decision. So please go to Bro Steph. Dot com, scroll to the bottom, how to accept Yeshua, and do it right now. Talk again real soon. God bless you all. Bye for now.